Hey Cancer Seeker, welcome back to the Existential Shift. Very happy to have you here. This is February. I'm late, but I'm fashionably late. So let's make it okay. Hey, I was moving. I have a good excuse, right? A reason. Anyway, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, intuitively guided. You know the drill. This will be our February tarot scope. Happy Valentine's Day. Our extended will focus on love. Whether this will show love or other things, I will focus my extended uh, for you guys for Valentine's Day. So, let's get to it, hey? Cancer, February. Clear guidance for my Cancer Seekers. You guys are such great supporters for me. Please ex excuse the dim lighting. Um, earlier I did Taurus, it was daytime, so the window had all the light shine on me. And I thought, should I wait until tomorrow? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Cancer now. I've waited long enough. You've waited long enough, right? You have waited long enough, Cancer, so enough with the waiting. There is a special 2019 extended, also a link below on my Vimeo. Um, all the months from January that we just finished to December 2019. And I, I'm shuffling the cards, I'm waiting for something to fall. I'm thinking to spare time, what else I need to tell you guys. Um, Tarot Masterclass, you know, link is also below. To book a private reading, link is also below. And basically the entire world and their grandmother is in the link below. So if you need anything, link below. Um, watch your last month's reading because it helps to look back at things and learn from that, from you know, the future point of view. And watch your other placements to have a wholesome picture of the situation. Now, the card. Since when you don't want to talk, Cancer? Ah, it's a new Cancer. Yeah. The new Cancer does not give a fuck. You're like, ah, oh, you want it to? No. Oh, you want to talk about? Mm. Oh, you want us to cry about? Mm. It's, it's like... If it was a shell on the outside and a mush on the inside, it's like the shell is on the inside and the mush is on the, is on the outside. You're like um, a palm, a palm, you know, you press, it seems soft, but then you encounter um, uh, firmness, yeah? Cancer, you've uh, swapped places with your skin. That's good. Now instead, now instead of crying on the inside and putting on a show on the outside, you're like crying on the outside while being stern as iron on the inside. Go Cancer. All right, great, channeling, that's cool, but do we wanna have some cards? This is the after tarot, by the way. If you're new to my channel, you're like, why is she talking and talking and not showing me cards? Hey. It's not up to me. I'm just a vessel. I'm a hose. I'm a channel. The messages arrive the way the messages need to arrive. So many great readers online. If you don't, if you don't vibe with me, you'll find someone. But let me be me, huh? Let me be me. Okay, Cancer. Thank you. Four of Wands, home, stability, foundation of joy. This is celebratory. This is joyous. This is holiday. This is family gathering when everybody's getting along. <laughs> this is the sense of belonging. This is team effort that achieves success. This is 11-11. This is on the mundane aspect of the tarot, it's victory, it's achievement, it's celebration, it's cooperation, 
on a um, divine level, it's frequency, it's resonance, one, 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 one. The divine, the God, the whole, times four, times four corners of a square, of um, the, the mundane shape of, um, of stability. It's like, I feel, I feel like, and this is more channeled, I feel like stability is being engraved in your DNA. So if so far you had a sense of lack of stability, if you had fear of stability, anything negative around stability, whether the lack of it or the fear of it, because your DNA was um, just designed differently, I feel like the one, 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 one is being engraved in your DNA, in your structure. In your soul structure right now like you're shifting gears and now you are home right if the the infinite cancer question is where is home you discover that you're a turtle <laughs> I better not put that in the headline if you were like turtle who is she calling a turtle I'm calling you a turtle because now you are home you are the home wherever you go if you feel belong to yourself if you feel belong to earth and everywhere you go everywhere you are you are home <sighs> do it with me <sighs> and suddenly when you feel home on the inside <clears throat> Then there is a shell. An outside home. Good. Good, Cancer. What's next? Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Decorating the home. <laughs> In my case, literally. <laughs> seriously really really building the foundation so here we have the um, the poles right now we're actually building putting the cement and the walls and connecting all the one 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 connecting the corners putting the floors and the walls we had it on the inside engraved in DNA and just as I said, the cards just resonated with me. Now there's actual physicality being expressed. Very strong sense of a home. You're building something, Cancer. You are building something and this is something that is made to last. It could be physical home, of course, but it could also be a career. Something that you were working on that has long lasting potential. Some of you, it's something that your inner child has been carrying with as a dream since long, long ago. You're now really feeling the existence of what once was a vision. Now it's a construction site. So, bear with me. This is the sun, the yellow, and the four of wands. And this is empty matter. Space. Empty matter is this dark black void that you see in the background. It's actually the life force of everything. It is between everything and it is everything. Google empty matter in physics. It is the uh, invisible glue that connects the molecules. It is what allows light to exist, okay? The thing that allows water to flow is the earth being like a, a bowl, right? So it can contain the earth, empty, contain the water. Emptiness can con contain existence. An empty hand can accept something. 
Nothing can be created without emptiness. Emptiness is the foundation of everything. And I have a feeling those of you who had this 11-11-1-1-1 um, um, home essence engraved into your soul DNA recently, you probably had to destroy or you were destroyed. Some of you probably, the tower is not here, but I know you went through the tower for sure. Because to build something so stable and so grounded. This is the square and the triangle, by the way, because three, right? Three corners is the triangle. Four corners is the square. I won't be surprised if I get the full or something that symbolizes zero, right? The circle. The circle, the square, and the triangle. That's all the shapes. That's our existence. Everything in the nut. So you had to be destroyed and or destroy the self, the inside, in order to be in this empty matter state. In order for the universe and for your higher self and for your childhood, for your childlike dreamer to be able to finally build something that truly resonates with your core nature. I'm sorry, I can't get it up just from these two cards. It's make, it makes me want to cry how beautiful it is because this is gray and black or black and white, right? The everything and the nothing. White contains all the colors, black contains none, but allows all. <laughs> and then we have the yellow and the red, the life force, the physicality, the earth, space, earth. the rainbow, the solar plexus, and the root chakra, the survival and the joy and the relationship of our mundane life to endless source. Now, normally the three of pentacles and the tarot is a mundane card. It's pentacles, it's earth, it's building, but in the rider wake and in the after tarot, they have this, the, it, it has the element of the black 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 background and it really shows what it is that we need in order to build never be saddened by emptiness because it allows you to have the world space allows earth darkness allows light Sorry, I need to fix my face. You don't mind, right? Okay. I'm wearing this t-shirt. Let's keep going for cancer. I don't know why I think you should watch Taurus. Watch all my videos. <laughs> yes, I'm right. The Hierophant. Okay. So a lot of establishment and establishments. And we have four, three, five. Four of Wands and Three of Pentacles, the, the Hierophant is number five in the Major Arcana. So it could be three, four, five. We'll address it in the extended when I talk numbers. Hopefully. Depending on the other cards, we'll see what's more important. So, some of you are really building. Um, a few of you are literally building a school, a class, um, an organization, an establishment of knowledge. Um, 
to share knowledge with groups. I see it in a physical aspect. I don't necessarily, it could be, of course, it could be online, but I see something very tangible um, in the physical realm. So I feel like it could literally be a place or a community where people meet and discuss ideas. And there is one specific person who wants to lead it, potentially you, or you're looking for someone to teach in that place. Again, this is a very specific narrative for a few of you, but for the remaining of you as part of the general reading, I'm getting like how do I phrase this? Some of you out there have been um, building several things several things throughout your life. It started, it ended, and another thing started, ended some succeeded, some failed, some, you know. And when things went well, you were joyous. When things went not well, you were in, obviously. Um, but those were like bits and pieces of a much greater puzzle that you weren't necessarily aware of as it was forming itself, forming its shape. And now you're starting to connect the dots. The knowledge that you have attained there, the experience that you gained from that, the um, the resilience that you've achieved, that you've mastered, you know, in these events, and and the wisdom from that, and the, and the optimism from there, and what this connection taught you, what this relationship brought you, and I feel like you're literally creating something out of all of it. Some some of you are writing a book. This will have, those of you who resonate with it, resonate with this, will have long-lasting um, stability. Very, very strong, powerful element of knowledge and teaching and... I want to say creativity, but it's more in the wise philosophical aspect of it. There's a craft being built based on philosophy, based on wisdom. Okay, court cards. <laughs> Page of Wands, King of Cups, Knight of Swords. I don't like any of them. I feel like this might be either competition or a group of some sort that you might be part of um, that has miscommunication and misunderstandings and quarrels and pettiness and arguments and disagreements. Very, very different characters that don't see eye to eye. Time to let go. Let go or be let go. Cancer, don't hold on. I see you kind of spilling the cup being like, okay, I can't do this anymore, and one person is walking away, and the other has to say the last word before and, and hurt you or hurt someone before they leave. If it's you, please don't. Um, either way, if it's dead, just 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 go. If it's a group, um, this could be you leaving a partnership or a group situation or something of that sort that just doesn't vibe with you anymore or you've outgrown it. I like much better the first three cards that I have on the table. It's like you have a vision, but the details need to match the vision, okay? You don't make a purple painting using the color red. If you have if if your ultimate goal is to achieve a certain thing with your doings, so the people who cooperate with you or work with you um, can't have a different vision or not understand what it is that you're trying to do. They can't just be administrative. They have to share your vision. They have to understand. Okay, you, so don't use the color red to make a paint a purple painting. 
If you're wondering who said that, I said that. If I ever quote, I said, I say quote. This one's mine. Okay. Sorry. Let's keep going. Okay. Let's see further into February. Or Cancer. Okay. The Emperor. That is a much better, more suitable partner slash alliance cooperation to the Hierophant. Much better than the three stooges that we just saw. Excuse my language. Not that the Knight of Swords, King of Cups, Page of Wands are on their own stooges, but in this combination, they're just that's the vibe. That's what I'm getting. So now we have the Emperor, who's one more form of grounded stability. Eight of Swords, interesting. But I like this Eight of Swords in the After Tarot because um, there's someone helping this individual release herself, themselves, from the entanglement they had in their head. This is someone that isn't really held by the Swords and they can set themselves free. It's very mental. But sometimes you need a friend. Sometimes you need help. Sometimes you need someone to give you a different point of view and, and, and put their hand on your back and be, hey, I'm here. You can do this, okay? So, hmm. Let's, let's, let's see the third card. Maybe two more cards, actually. Wow, a lot of people are involved, Cancer. What are you up to? Queen of... Um, Cups and Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups to match the King of Cups. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles is like, hey. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Five chord cards. And two majors. Let's look at this. Hmm. Guys, comment what this is about, please. Uh, Beside, I, I, I like to read you guys. Makes me feel good. Um, hmm. Give me a give me a couple of seconds. I'm breathing this in. There's a lot going on here. Okay, it's almost like. So there's the great vision and the great opportunity and the great potential and there's actual tangible work in progress and then people are being people. <laughs> you know when people are being people and you're, you're just like, oh, why well, you gotta ruin a, a good thing? Like everybody ha has to like speak their mind or give their opinion or stir up some drama just to remind people that they're around and I just honestly, I don't see... I see two people here that are highly cooperative and there for each other. I think there's a group of people that has been a little bit nasty, uh, probably to this person right here. And then someone is kind of being like, I don't care what everybody thinks. I don't, I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the strong thing. And I'm standing up next to this person. Um, there may have been jealousy, spitefulness, backstabbing. Ugh. Um, gossip, a lot of things that come from insecurities. People are being emotional and wanting, wanting to, you know, show themselves, but then they behave. For some reason, I'm not experiencing this King of Cups and Queen of Cups as benefic. I'm, it's like a couple, couple that is just stirring shit and isn't really even cooperative amongst themselves. Um, earth, air, water, fire. So this is a very learning experience. You are meant, the, the reason that it's around is because you are meant to um, bring order back to things. Use your wisdom um, and your authority to bring people together as opposed to apart. Start with what you have already. 
with this either person that is uh, helping you or you're helping them or if, if it's two people that are sticking up for each other um, start with them you know um, give focus to the benefic and the good focus on them you know like when there is in class so there's the kids who always interfere and kind of bully and are loud so the teacher will constantly give them attention um, while the remaining 95% of class are like awesome and then they just want to study and learn but they have to like they have to listen to all this crap because the teacher keep having to like just you know meddle in or shush or just give more attention to those who are louder and then those who are actually you know quiet and smart and actually know what they're doing are kind of being shoved to the shadows because of and so I'm seeing this guy as a more benevolent individual. So come with an offer of peace to whomever this is that needs, that actually is worthy of the support. Have them cooperate with you on whatever vision, this thing that you're building. And, you know, build it and they will come. And then either they line up or let, or let them go. Whatever this is. I don't know if it's a school. I don't know if it's a workplace. I don't know if it's an organization. It could be just, you know, a few friends. You could be in high school watching this. Um, but this is a great lesson for you to kind of um, unite as opposed to divide and conquer. Use emptiness to build something new and better. Divide between all the... Um, rats i don't i don't like to use rats as a negative example rats are a lovely intelligent animal the only reason why it's dirty is because we shove them to the sewage because we're scared of them and they run away where that's where they can hide you know like pigs we, we made them dirty but in nature they're not highly intelligent highly sweet and highly uh, clean it's like we make something sick and then we you know we fault it for being sick great it's like pushing someone's buttons and constantly insulting them or um, picking on them or bullying them or judging and criticizing them and then being like and then they get upset or they call you out on it or they lash out or they cry or they get angry and then you you turn around and blame them for it oh you're dramatic or oh, there's something wrong with you oh look at you, how you're responding but you nitpick it at you nitpick at someone you know a, like in a very poisonous kind of silent way so no one sees or you know maybe you're an authority so they can't you, no one will call you out on it so all the fire will be led to the individual that was initially picked on and now they're you know they're 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 stand they're they're standing up so now it's like oh you're it's something wrong with them yeah but now there's a need to kind of put things back in order. Make things more organized. Find, find the, 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 the kindred spirits and connect them, sit with them, hang out with them, give them more attention. Make these one kind of need to you know learn because they have to. Make them align because they don't have a choice because if they don't, they won't get attention, you know? Okay, that was an interesting uh, narrative. Let's see if something else comes up to my head. Mm -hmm. When it comes to love, we will delve much deeper into it. I'll make a specific Celtic cross for love for you guys for February and for Valentine's Day. Uh, so don't worry, you can join me um, on Vimeo and, and check it out. Um, because in the general readings, I just I talk what I see because for the general audience. But if you want to focus on love, and see you guys uh, soon. Um, but if I can say something now, I would say that I see a woman here that has a lot of suitors. But what they see, the reason they like her, the reason they want her and pursue her is because they see their, her exterior. They don't really know her. They don't really know her secrets, 
her inside, um, her dreams, her fears. They're like really kind of drawn to her exterior, to her status maybe. But on the end, but she she she's like she's she on the out if she's a blonde on the outside she's a brunette on the inside I can't explain it. <laughs> um, she 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 looks popular but she's actually the odd bird you know like those girls who were actually I was like that who, who actually who didn't grow up feeling pretty they grew up you know like the the little odd ducky the, the girl that people would tease or bully or made fun of or never quite feel belong and then they grow up to be really impressive or looking or, or, or learning how to adapt to society and kind of make their way into it so they, they now they know how to control their perception in the in society but so all these guys feel like are drawn to her perception right but they don't really know her on the inside and the person who truly recognizes her was there for her darkness as well of her shine right there all these guys are there for her shine but one specific person is there for her you know truth and her truth is not a cowardly little girl who's blocked no it's just it needs to be allowed to express itself with without fear because i'm feeling someone who kind of learned how to put on a very good show of being very self-assured and, and confident um but has an entire whole world inside she's like a geek on the inside popularity on the outside geeky on the inside but geek in a beautiful way i'm not saying it like in a, a shadow way like in a beautiful inspiring sweet knowledgeable way and who's just looking for someone to share it with because all of them she knows that all these guys just want you know the hoo-ha and she's waiting for the one special person to see her for what she is and like her for what she is. And then this is, you know, maybe in this case, it's her allowing someone. We need, many times, we always need to allow someone to rescue us, right? No one can rescue us without us letting them. So this is basically someone rescuing themselves by allowing someone to seemingly rescue them, if that makes any sense. I choose like all these, all of these knights and princess and, and pages and kings. Like there's two knights, there's a king, there's a page. All of them want to be her knight in shining armor and save the day or save the damsel. But the damsel gets to choose. It's like a, it's like a, almost a test of worthiness. It's like who is it that you're trying to save? Are you trying to save my perception? Save. I, I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't like to uh, uh, strengthen the damsel in distress narrative because we're all our own heroes. But you know, like, who are you trying to be with? With the perception, with the uh, princess, or with the with, with me, with the geek? <laughs> you know. And then she kind of chooses. Nice. That's sweet. Okay. All right. So, let's see the first part of the um, extended. So, we'll take these two. And maybe these two, four, five. Okay, I like this. So, we have, now we're going, in the extended, I'm going according to chronological order for numerology. So, we have three, four, and then the emperor, another four, and then five. Three, four, four, five. And we're going to leave the king and the queen. Let me get these ones on the back. Now, this will be uh, just the little first part of the extended. I'll speak numerology and other narratives that come up. And then I'll do the special Valentine's Day Celtic Cross. And then I'll do a three runes reading. But for now, I will finish up with one runes for you guys. Because in case I'm not going to see you in the extended, so I want you to also have a taste, okay? All right. Guys, uh, book a reading. Mm, check out Tarot Masterclass. Check out the 2019 Ministers of Magic uh, special extended that I did for the entire year. All of it, links below. 
and breathe in, breathe deeply and ask to focus on a message for my Cancer beauties for February. A rune for Cancer for February, please. I made the sack <laughs> and I made these runes. I just like to say it. It makes me feel good. A room for Cancer for February. Nice. Tir. Okay. Tir, T was, the letter T. So, very strong um, spiritual warrior type of force. This is victory in case you are um, in a competition. This is success. This is a very, very um, positive masculine force that is very truthful and in the upright and, and, and means, um, means well. So if you were thinking about a guy, so his, his, um, his intentions are in the right place. This is also very sexual runes, very, um, you know, um, vitality. <laughs> and... If we had, if we connected to the general reading that we had all these, um, you know, competitive forces, take ownership, take control over the situation and you will align everything up. This is the arrow, okay? Just shoot the arrow, aim it to where you want it to go and have all the heads turn around and have all the heads turn around and follow it, okay? Just aim it, shoot it, and don't shoot anybody. You never know what people that are watching are like, Oh, she told me to shoot someone. No. It's an analogy, a metaphor for aiming for a goal, a cause, and doing it. Leading by example, and people will follow you. Ah. <laughs> but be smart about it. It's also a strategic force. This is a warlord. Oh, Okay, cool. Two. Let's see which runes will come up in the extended, so I will see you there in a second. If not, and regardless, I will see you in March. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is your opportunity. Um, and send me love and comment. And oh, watch your other placements. And oh, watch your. I, I said all that. You know all that. If you've been around, you know all that. Yeah? Okay, guys. Thank you. See you soon.